Hello boys and girls, I'm about to start a new adventure and once again I sort of uh, want to babble and comment on the way so you're welcome to tag along. So this is uh, another gorgeous little game that I found in uh, good old games uh, although it's new and I have been playing it a little bit and I think I was, I might have been about uh, a third uh, in when I decided that uh, I want some company, imaginary company. So let's start a new game here. I hope that the recording uh, doesn't throw any glitches on me. Uh, it seemed to sort of uh, switch desktop at random times, but well, let's see how it goes. Okay, this is my existing game, but I want to start from the beginning. I have arrived at the cave entrance. Despite the unusual readings, everything appears normal. Amani, what is your status? Yeah, I've got you, and I'm good here. Art, have you verified the system tests and everything? Yes! <laughs> then I am prepared to descend. This begins our historic mission. I am honored to have you as my team. <laughs> I knew you'd say something like that, you softy. Watch yourself in that cave, okay? So... Guys, can I like be in your research team too? Mm -hmm. Okay, first I'm gonna check the settings. Let's see, volumes. No, I want top difficulty. I know it's dangerous, that's the point. Okay. I don't have a joystick. I think I'm going to tone down the audio just a little bit because usually I don't yell quite uh, hard enough into the mic and uh, yeah. Okay, I think we're all set. Can I go this way? Oh, I can. Can I use? <laughs> of course not. Uh, where are you going, Liang? <laughs> it is necessary to inspect the outpost. Oh, really? I don't remember reading that. It is not a strict requirement, I suppose. <laughs> uh, okay. I waited this long. I guess I can wait for you to get done being really, really thorough. Okay, this is something I didn't do uh, when I first started. Um... Okay, at this point I don't have a mouse cursor either. Right then, I think we're done examining. Run, Leon, run! So I didn't notice it before, but in the very beginning you don't have all the controls that you would have later. Yay! So let's dive into chapter one then. The tunnel has already become too vertical to continue on foot. I'm switching to jetpack. Sounds great. So, without further ceremony, I have gained. Whoa! Sorry, I have gained a whole, whole new control thingy. Actually, I think I'm 
going to use my master control and tweak the audio further. I'm quite fond of this uh, soundtrack, but I suppose I can't yell. Maybe I can, I don't know. But seniors and juniors sleeping next to this room, so I can't be too loud. Whoa! Oh, 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 sorry. The fun thing is that uh, generally I, I, I can't stand uh, platformers. I'm, I'm not good at them. It's the, uh, I don't know, the need to make spatial decisions in, uh, yay, in, uh, in constrict constricted time, but uh, uh, even though the movement mechanics here can be described uh, very much uh, like platforming, uh, it's not like platforming for for its own sake. So, I mean, you, you have to, I don't know, jump and somersault some, but that's not, uh, you're, you're doing it on your way to achieve something else. So, surprisingly, it doesn't bother me. Okay. Hello, plant thingy. Yay! Amani, are you receiving this? I have encountered some of the Zoa. Congratulations, Leong. You're the first person to make contact with extraterrestrial life. They appear to be the Halid, same Zoa discovered by a robotic explorer. They are beautiful and strange, but not so unlike plants on Earth. A Zoa cannot be classified as a plant. True. The movement is more like that of an animal. I wonder if they're aware of me. They are certainly grooving in the rhythm of the music. Holding in my hands a seed from one of the Hallet. This cannot be classified <laughs> as a seed. Don't worry, Art. It's just a convenient way for us to refer to them. There is fertile terrain nearby. I will attempt to plant this. Yay! So basically, one one thing that I like so much about this game is how they handle uh, the learn stuff. Sort of, sort of in pulsing. Uh, in this way, it's it's not so much unlike uh, unlike Portal, uh, which they often say is like ninety percent tutorial. Yay, we have some vibrant life here. Amani, there is something troubling to report. One of the cerebrain life forms grows here. And let me guess, it's covering the entire passage. It appears that way, unless there is some alternate route. Well, you know my theory. They form airtight seals to filter nutrients. You're not gonna find a way around it. But remember what Octo discovered? Just do that. <laughs> hmm. Then I will attempt to reproduce Octo's results, planting more Zoa to open the cerebrain. This, ladies and gentlemen, is some exposition done so elegantly you don't even notice. In other words, another aspect I, I, I dig. Whoops, sorry. Yup, yeah, shove it up in the rock. What was 
that beep. Incoming signal. So, so far uh, in this game I have often encountered the sort of uh, uh, copywriter's envy. Like so that works great. Sorry? Grow plants, the cerebrain open. They shouldn't stop us from exploring the cave. Yes, but I worry planting Zoa will have an adverse impact. Suppose we find Cerebrain growing extensively. That seems unlikely. Octo only encountered a couple of them this close to the surface anyway. Attention! I have discovered a Cerebrain <laughs> in this chamber! Yay! Uh, or maybe things have changed since Octo was here. Well, look. Even if there are Cerebrain, we need to keep planning. Or it's gonna be a short mission, right? Yes. For now, that is my response as well. Which is a nice way to say to the player, shit's gonna get complicated later, but just keep on doing what you're doing now. So yeah, anyways, I, I like how they... how they handle the dialogue and, and everything. I know I can break that ledge over there, but I won't. And I think these, uh, uh, these uh, stalagmites uh, serve as a bit of uh, uh, tutorial-ish to you. Basically, you, you discover that you can interact with some of the, uh, some of the terrain. Detected a transmission in Octo's encoding. Whoa, really? Let's take a look. We would be fortunate to have found him so quickly. No such luck. It's not Octo, it's some component he detached. I wonder why. This signal contains a message. <laughs> oh, I know what's up now. He's leaving behind remote camera modules. Take a look, Leon. So this is a live transmission of something in the cave. What is it? You're the one who gets to find out. <laughs> I'll mark your map with the location of the signal. Wait, what, 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 what? Okay, uh, I think I'm still recording. The game just uh, flipped desktop for no reason. So maybe I, I'm gonna have to edit this together later on. I hope not. But for now... Let's keep up the gardening. Whoa. I wanna plant some more, please. I don't, uh, I don't know if it makes a difference if you sort of go the completest way and uh, interact with everything in, in, in a particular area. Whoa! Sorry. But... It feels cool. Whoa! I don't know if these uh, stalagmite fingers hurt you so early on, but... They look spiky. I would rather avoid them. Okay, and one punch is still empty. So I guess you can't plant them all. At least not right away. Radio. 
research opportunity. <laughs> Amani, we have discovered a new life form, one that even Octo did not report. This can be classified as a Zoa. Collect a portion of it for scanning. Affirmed. I will grab one of those seeds. Oh, I, th I thought. I thought. Uh, I shouldn't call these seeds. By now, I, I have had some practice and I already know how to catch them. So. Which doesn't mean it always works, but. Scanning! Okay. This soa produces large quantities of liquid water. We will call it a hydron. Attempt to hurdle this at a hallet. Prior research indicates they may respond positively to water. because this way you can throw the speed seeds out. And it's gonna be easier to, to collect them. Totally rocking it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna view it soon enough. But first, I'm gonna go back. Oh, okay, that was it. Yeah, okay. So one of the seeds that uh, fell down already planted itself, I suppose. fall, he will fall. On the other hand, if you move downward, then the jetpack is engaged at all times. No, 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 no. Bad hydro. And now 
this one is resting too. So, did I have an objective here or not? Research opportunity. <laughs> yes. I theorize that there exists multiple functions for this. Hurdle it not just at other life forms, but also plant it into fertile terrains. In other words, plant the water seed. Okay, I want to get the spike off. Righty, yeah. will be easier to catch and I'm gonna put another one over here oh it's planting itself now I better plant some of these fast Ratio uh, of different life forms can make a difference. Okay, and now I'm going back to that previous cave once again. And water those groovy, groovy pots. goes up with every life form created. This is the total. For a cerebrain to open, total biomass must cross certain thresholds. The cerebrain open at biomass 3. <laughs> I have developed this interface for you to use from now on. It exposes my scanning data. <laughs> oh. That will be an important tool, Art. So you detect no other way to proceed through the cave. No! You must create new life forms of Mars by hurtling <laughs> protocaps with your human arms. Protocaps? Did you just invent that word? Yes! I have a creative module! <laughs> by protocaps you mean seeds, though. Growing plants with seeds. Yes! That is how humans communicate. <laughs> wow, that was so condescending. You puny humans and your communication. Okay, so... 
so... Shh. Now sit. Uh, so this is the point. Huh. Ah, oh, it didn't break. This is the point where uh, the plant to plant ratio becomes important. So that's why I'm going to plant a few of these first and then uh, oh. <laughs> very elegant. And then uh, provide some water because uh, when they use uh, Hydrons. Whee! Uh, when when those uh, bounce around, they will uh, sh shit. They will uh, plop them plop themselves quite easily. So I'm gonna. Whoa. <gasps> okay. I hadn't seen this one before. I mean, I I, I knew I could. Damage some other plants with, uh, uh, with this, but but I hadn't seen it with these uh, specific ones yet. Can I break this from below? Okay, I suppose not. But I do know I I can break it from above. Okay, so a few more of these. useful thing I discovered was that uh, if you throw the water towards the uh, towards the uh, other plant thingy shit okay something just glitched again and the game uh, went to desktop for some reason I don't know why it does that I even turned off the uh, net connection. But... That didn't seem to matter. Anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Will it kill this plant now? Yeah, fuck. So yeah, it's uh, important to clear up the terrain before, as I can see. Okay, shove my pockets full of... Oh, oh, full of... Uh, holes. Thingies. 
I have discovered a print created by Octo's appendage. Yay. Makes sense. This is right around where we lost contact with him. Unfortunately, this roof has since collapsed. Great. Are you gonna head back to the outpost for the digging tools? Those things are amazing. I love them. Amani, I'm not blocked. There is an opening overhead. Oh, I, uh, see, because the transmission through all the rock gets static and... Uh, sorry. Oh, you guys are so flirting, aren't you? Okay. So, uh, since this is sort of... Sort of a transition uh, from the uh, uh, new barrier. Um, this is where the more difficult stuff starts to gradually begin. I think I'm going to make a break here and then resume shortly. So bye bye for now and see you soon.